trying to make our area healthy and less food insecurity. With me today to tell us more about this partnership and what's happening at the West Ohio Food Bank, to my immediate left, we have Dr. Tim Law, and he's with Ada Family Medicine and part of Mercy Health Networks. And then we have Tommy Harner, of course, the CEO of West Ohio Food Bank, a familiar face. So thank you both for coming today. Thanks, Thanks. for having us. Okay, so Tommy, it's March has been National Food Nutrition Month. We just had Doctor's Day. And so you at the Food Bank, you try to make up partnerships, right, to make sure that healthy food is getting out to the people, especially in areas that don't have that chance. Absolutely. So we're trying to do this program with different healthcare facilities in hopes that when they're seeing these patients and they're doing their intake, they can ask them those vital questions to find out, are they food insecure? And if so, they have that food on hand that they can give them that day. Right. All right. So, Dr. Law, your office is participating in a program like this. So, tell us why. Why is it important? And, like, what are you seeing that you're thinking this is going to help out? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, with our patient population in part of Harding County and the surrounding areas, we see a lot of food insecurities, whether it be from children going at home without food or adults without food. And it's always been an important part of our aspect of our medicine to take care of the community. And this is one way, partnering with the West Ohio Food Bank, to really be able to reach out and help individuals in need. Mm -hmm. So these boxes that the Dr. Law's office will have, they're, they're packed with some healthy food, right? Because I think sometimes, I was joking during the commercial, people think, you don't have healthy food, you just got the stuff that people donate. Right, yeah, so these are no salt or low sugar items, the whole wheat pastas, things like that. And then, um, because they don't have the capacity to have the frozen and the refrigerated, which most healthcare facilities wouldn't, they will have a voucher that they can give to that individual and we can provide those meats, dairy items, the eggs, things Things like that. So they're getting a nice variety of healthier nutrition that we're hopeful will help with some chronic illnesses that they may experience, high blood pressure, um, cholesterol, and just a variety of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and doctor, don't you find that, you know, even in food insecurity areas, people grab that, that easy stuff. It, it's fast food and stuff like that. So I assume these boxes are a nice alternative that you can't wait to hand out. Yeah, you're exactly right. It's sometimes the easiest food is not the most valuable food. So this is a great opportunity to really get good food into homes. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there'll be also be a little bit of education maybe with some of these boxes that are talking to your patients? Oh, of course. I mean, now with our screen questions that you already mentioned, we already get an opportunity to talk to individuals about those things, but never really had any resources to hand out. Mm -hmm. So now in combination with our resources that we give them, as well as uh, West Ohio Food Bank resources, I think it'd be very helpful. You know, with so many different issues, people are, are afraid to even speak out or e even answer. So do you think they'll be comfortable in your office and, and say, yeah, I really do need help with food, and that you, then it can, you guys can go from there? Yeah, I think that's a really good question because it is very challenging for people to uh, ask for help sometimes. And so in combination with our screening techniques and as well as the clinical staff that's able to kind of reach out and identify those individuals on the front lines and then we can kind of come in and kind of figure out how we can help them with that. So, mm -hmm. great, yeah, great question. Yeah, exactly. You know, we were talking, it, it's amazing that in the United States and even right here at home, we have rural areas that that are food insecure. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it just must be such a mission for you and, I mean, just these two missions together, partnership just seems easy for you guys to get together. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a huge part of it. These food deserts, food insecurities, it's, uh, it's hard to get healthy food out there. So I think this partnership is perfect for our mm -hmm. community. Yeah. And West Ohio Food Bank has been trying to get out a lot of information. Uh, we were joking, since the pandemic, a lot of things have changed. And, you know, you've had that resource fair. And so now one is coming up for the spring. So let's talk about that. Right. So we're doing that on April 25th or 24th. I'm sorry. Um, we got a couple different ones going on in our <laughs> region. But so we're inviting any organization or even employers, if they're looking for applicants, come out to that resource fair, set up a table. We're going to do it in conjunction with a food distribution at the fairgrounds. So they'll have plenty of opportunity to interact with a variety of people. We typically see between 500 to 700 families come through that. So a, a huge opportunity and um, we're just hopeful that people can come out and help get their information out about services they provide. Right, yeah, that'll be a like one-stop shop for them to be able to get that and also get some food too at the same time. Right. Mark your calendar, April 24th for that and call you if you want to be a participant, right? Yep, just let me know and we'll get you on the roster. All right, well thank you both for coming today and telling thank us about your partnership Thanks and working to help. Yeah. All right, don't go away. The weather forecast is next.